welcome to my channel or welcome back to One Faith, One Love. So today's video is going to be about um, how I function with this agenda. This is the Louis Vuitton medium size agenda in the monogram print. Now, in my previous video, I did state that I was supposed to do an unboxing. Unfortunately, the time frame of it coming in, I was unable to do an unboxing. However, today, I'm just going to show y'all how I organize my agenda, how it is functional for me. And yeah, so let's just jump right into looking at this. So I did purchase this pre-loved. And... It stated on the website that it was in good condition, but honestly, whoever previously had this before me, they took very good care of it. And I consider this to be an excellent condition. You know, obviously y'all have your little minor nicks on the hardware, which is a given, it's going to happen. So on the front, you'll see a cloth and paper magnetic um, clip. I previously did have the medium size agenda in the print Demiere Evine. Now I know that is considered a classic print, the original print of Louis Vuitton, but in certain items, I prefer the monogram print. And this is one of the items. So jumping right into it, you have, I mean, I have, sorry, I have this front cover as well as this little dashboard area. I'm gonna start here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that paper clip off and it's literally like that. Place that on the side. Now these are from a from an, an Etsy shop. These are digital print. Now these are like little memo um, printing cards that you can print out. For instance, one of them says school task, um, the reminder, and then I also have one that says to do. Um, so I keep these in the front area so that I can quickly have a glance without having to like go detail into the agenda of what's, you know, needed to be done, et cetera, et cetera. So this one is cut a little wonky, but um, it was cut that way so that it can fit a certain weight into the agenda. But I love this gradient look where it goes from dark to light. And um, the cardstock paper that I purchased, um, I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It gives that metallic champagne look to it, which goes along with the color change from dark to light. So I'm gonna place this aside. Next, I have this little, um, you can say it's like a dashboard. Sorry, my phone's being disrespectful. You can say, um, I have this little dashboard um, from, I believe this is cloth and, cloth and paper. So this is just something that comes in, you know, your order and it has like the thank you on it with a uh, discount code. And I'm pretty sure because I have ordered from them like so long ago that this discount code is pretty much not usable anymore. But I love it because, you know, you have the cat with the glasses um before COVID even came about um they had the girl with the mask on and then they have a Chanel bag but I love it because it gives this clean chic and cute look next I have another card I'm not sure where this is from but it's like a memo um just a reminder and it states make happiness a priority and be gentle with yourself in the process it's just a reminder that you know growth is a process you are a process and it's okay, you know, take your time, it's no rush. There's, you know, even when you think you're at the finish line, there's still more growing to do. So yeah. Next, I have my Starbucks little card. And then I have a month at a glance. I love this to be in the front so that I can circle important like um, test days for exams, for school, um, appointments for the boys and my husband or I um stuff like that so this is also a digital print and i will link that etsy shop down below if i can definitely find it but i love the print i love the the way the wording is and all of that but um it's on that same cardstock paper from hobby lobby um i just went along with the 
same theme as this one. Next, I have this paper clip. I did order this years, probably years ago. Um, I'll see if the Etsy shop is still linked. Um, it's still um, running and up. And if it's so, I'll link it below. But I loved it. You know, it's like a cute little dress with a little flower on it, etc. So, yeah. Let's see. So next, sorry about that. Next, I have this Hello Kitty little charm now basically if you ordered any type of pillow kitty collection from forever 21 all of their clothing items have this piece on it so i just added it in here i love hello kitty next i have a dashboard bring it up so you can kind of see it but it has like these little field flower little flowers and it states free your mind. And the reason why I chose this because I can't it like it gave me it gave me a reminder of like when I was a child, laying down outside in the backyard in the field and just looking up at the sky and having no worries in the world, you know. Basically, this is a reminder that God is in control. Let go what you cannot control and then the things that you can control, you know, change it, you know, if it's gonna improve a situation. If it's not, let you know, leave it be. So just to free your mind. Next is this little divider. Um, I'm not sure where I got these from. It's been a while. So here I have a little transparent sticky note. And here is basically where I jot down like a few important things that I, I needed to do, which they're already done because clearly we're out of March. But um, yeah, so I actually ordered these transparent sticky notes from Amazon and like a pack of like 10 for like 12 bucks and like they're thick they're not like they don't give you like a little bit of paper but like I have like 10 little booklets of those here um I'm not sure what this paper's called um Bellin. I'm not even sure but before my dashboards came in because they were actually from out of state um so um yeah uh, I went to Hobby Lobby, picked up a few of these, cut them to the size that I want and hole punched them. That I liked it because, you know, it just looked very clean. I wanted something very just clean looking. Next, I'm gonna cut a close up of this. So these are those same ones that I had in this front area. And there's literally like so many options that they have in that little kit. Um, so this is an AM routine, home tasks, work tasks. So my AM routine is just like, you know, school schedules, um, home tasks on Sundays is deep cleaning and laundry Tuesdays, light cleaning. And then work task, um, it's just my clients that I go and see, you know, what days and times, et cetera. Um, and then on the back, I have my PM bills due weekly task. Just so you can kind of get a look at that. Um, so weekly tasks, balancing out my checkbook, upcoming bills, just making sure everything is up to par. Bills area, I don't have filled out yet. I need to actually do that. Um, priorities, um, just, I mean, not priorities, Lord. PM routine, just basically my school schedule for that, you know, that evening or later on that day. Next is another dashboard that says, Time is a creative thing to say I don't have time is to say I don't want to. So basically, no procrastination. As I flip that, I have more of these transparent little note things. And then I have my fall 2022 um, schedule for next year. And I have that here so that, you know, any appointments in that time frame, I know where, you know, I can Put those appointments or I can't put those appointments etc so here I have my weekly um section I've tried the monthly um and it's okay but I prefer weekly and this collection of uh weeklies are from Saint Posh and the quality of the paper is like awesome so I'm gonna try to flip to um, I guess this page. So, cause sort of kind of where we are. Yeah. So here it shows, um, you know, your, your, uh, month, the day of the week starts with Monday and ends 
with a Sunday. And then right here, you can jot down what you need for the previous week um, or just some important reminders. So I love this layout. Sorry. I love this layout. I'm able to literally write down everything that I need to do for class, you know, boys appointments, etc. Like they're fixing to go on Easter break for a whole entire week. God be with us. Yeah, um, this little divider came from my actual um, mini agenda that I had, but wound up uh, selling and it's just easy for me to find like what week I'm in. And it also has a Bible verse, one of my favorite, which is Jeremiah 29, 11. So, and then some more little memo notes um, that I can quickly like put reminder are important, you know, stuff like that. So that's pretty much how, um, the weeklies go from Monday to Sunday. And then you have your little area right here where you can jot down important things. And literally I have January to December in here. Yes, I love to keep all of my months in here, my weeklies. Um, I'm just that type of girl. So it definitely gets thick. Next, we're gonna flip on over to notes. Notes are obvious. Um, I have this dashboard as well. It says everything you need is within you. And that is just a reminder that everything that I need is literally within me. You know, not to stress about anything. Give it to God. God has placed everything that I need within me. So next, we're just going to turn this page. This is a little sticky note. I have something covered up. But here's where I write pretty much um you know our food uh list that we need household items and i will write this down take a picture of it in my you know in my phone walk around in the store with my phone open looking at the list or i will um pull out this agenda it just depends so i'm just going to turn into a blank sheet these sheets come from um hobby lobby so um, Y'all know Hobby Lobby have their 40 and 50% off of agenda items. So that's pretty much where I went to grab that. Um, Let's see. Next, we're going to flip on over. So we flip on over and we have our yearly little layout. Um, I have this in this area for the reasons of budgeting. This is where all the finances is. So it gives me a quick glance of what checks are coming which week, which bills are coming out that week, which checks are going to cover that, etc. So it does cover 2022 and 2023. Here's just another little tab because we're going into our budget area, but this is a rule for myself. Now, everyone knows there's Zip, Klarna, and so many other apps. I have right. to set this rule for myself because sometimes I can go overboard because I'm like, oh, it's just $40, just 10, 10 there, but that adds up. So this is just a rule for myself to calm down, basically. This is another little um, thing that I brought from um, Hobby Lobby before my actual dashboards came in. So over here, over here, y'all have some more notes. I have to cover this part up because it's not really important. But memos, um, this actually came as like an extra little gift from Posh. What is it called? St. Posh, sorry. So these are some more little, more little memo notes. Next, we're gonna get into the billing area. Let me find a blank sheet. Cause Lord knows I don't need y'all looking at the bills <laughs> unless y'all wanna pay them. But um, here, you pretty much have your check boxes for when they're actually paid, the name of the company, the due date, and the amount. This helps me to basically stay on top of which bills are due and when they're due, as well as figuring out which check you know, is going to cover X, Y, Z. So this is an awesome layout. I'm able to put in the full name of the company or if I want to abbreviate it, it's fine. I check it off as each bill is taken out. Next, we're going to go into a section. We're going to go into finances, which this is pretty much our checking and savings account. So I have a dashboard here and it says, don't be busy, be productive. And like I said, it's just a reminder no one has time for procrastination. We got to get things done. And also, I love it because I do actually have this bag, which is the Pochette Matisse. I love Chanel's um, perfume. I do have the Chanel um, Mademoiselle perfume that my husband brought for me. 
I love it. And these, I guess they're called, I guess it just depends, Pompers. I have these in, you know, our uh, living room area. I love Pompers. So let's flip on over. So some more little sticky notes. Just a reminder that the boys on break. <laughs> And then this is kind of like the same thing what I'm limiting myself of as well as just the better way to manage of saving money, etc. So I'm going to flip to a blank area for the checking so y'all can see the actual layout. So here's the layout of the checking. Pretty much you have your date. Transaction. This is where you check off once it's out of your account. Credited, debited, balance, and then you have your um, starting balance. So typically I put my starting balance. I do not mark the date until it has actually posted. A lot of the times these things that we purchase are pending and has not technically been taken out of the account. Um, and I immediately try to write down a transaction and then I place a check mark once the item has been actually taken out of our account. So obviously credit, anything we spend, debit, anything that is put back into our account and then the balance area. So, this is the checking account. Next, we're going to flip to this little envelope, which I ordered from an Etsy shop. Um, it's, very, it's a clear um, envelope. It says miscellaneous, abbreviation of miscellaneous. Um, I have some little um, zoo tickets uh, that they gave us for free um, when we went this past weekend to the zoo because they're renovating it. So, you know, I guess as a token of appreciation, they wanted to give us some free tickets, which I mean, I'm all for free tickets, but I love it. It's well made. Um, in here, I placed like stickers, um, little um, cards from the shops that I purchased, etc. Receipts, whatever can go in there. Next, I have some more, like when I say it came with a list, it came with a list of things. So I have self-care, monthly task, priority. So self-care is very important. Um, a lot of the times as a mother and a wife, you know, you know, the husband and the kids, they come first, you know, in doing, first of all, re as a human being, as a child of God, God comes first. Let's get that understood. And then the husband and then the kiddos. So sometimes, you know, you, you forget, you know, about doing little things for yourself. So like maybe once or twice a month, I'll do like my nails and petty body massage. And then meditation is pretty much, I try to do that every day because having that relationship with God is so important to us, you know. So our monthly task is uh, balancing the checkbook and the savings. And then priorities is boys pick up because how our work schedule is, we have to sometimes have someone to pick up the little ones. It is what it is. Next, we're gonna go into savings. I'm gonna turn to a blank area. So here you have your start, end, gold, date, deposit, withdraw, and balance. So typically the first of the month to the end of the month. Now your goal can be where you wanna do $100 a week, 200, you know, 200 every two weeks, whatever the case may be, you write your goal down. You put your dates and your deposits or your withdrawals because, you know, things do happen. It is what it is. It happens. Um, your withdrawals, if there's any, and then your balance. So next, we're just going to go to this little back part. I'm going to lay this part down. I have some stickers. I'm not really a sticker person, but every now and again, I'll put a sticker. These stickers are from the dollar store. Um, they just have like a reminder, cute little designs, etc. I have another dashboard and this one is actually from, um, Mint Sugar and it's a hustle hard girl. And the back is like a little index card. Um, I haven't written anything on it yet, but eventually I will. Let's see what else. I have some more little memo cards. I'm not sure where they came from, but one of them says... You are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress at the same time. The other one says, the harder you work, the luckier you'll get. So, oh, this is from Cloth and Paper. I'm seeing, I don't know where it's from. Stamped at the bottom. So yeah, I keep these in here. I switch them out from time to time. It just depends when I want to switch them out. Next, I have those transparent sticky notes. So yeah, from Amazon, I love them. 
Um, I typically write on there with a Sharpie pen. That is the best because the Sharpie pen actually keeps the ink in place and dries pretty quickly. So that's pretty much it of what I keep in my agenda, how it keeps me functioning and organized throughout the week, throughout the year, month, whatever you want to call it. And I love it. So if you enjoy these type of videos or you actually enjoyed this video put a thumbs up please and don't forget to subscribe that way i know you know what you guys I like you do, do a lot of luxury and videos and that's just to inform those who are either looking to purchase something like that or give them an idea of whether or not it's something that they really want so i hope you guys enjoy until next time peace